Have you ever wondered what it truly means to survive against all odds in the heart of the sea? Picture this, the early 19th century, a time when the ocean was a vast, uncharted territory, brimming with mystery and danger. Enter the brave crew of the whale ship Essex, a group of hardy souls embarking on a mission that will test their mettle and endurance. From the quaint and bustling island of Nantucket, they set sail, their eyes filled with the promise of adventure and the hope of prosperity. Their task, to venture into the unknown to hunt the giants of the deep, the majestic and elusive sperm whale. Their spirits are high, their hearts are stout and their will unbroken. They are ready to face the challenges the sea might throw at them, or so they believe. Little did they know, their journey was about to take an unexpected and terrifying turn. What happens when man's pursuit of nature's bounty awakens a monstrous fury? Imagine the scene, a calm day at sea, the ship's crew is busy at work, oblivious to the impending doom lurking beneath the surface of the azure ocean. Suddenly, the tranquility is shattered by the emergence of a creature of gigantic proportions, a sperm whale, a titan of the sea. This is no ordinary whale. It's a behemoth, a leviathan, the embodiment of nature's untamed power and wrath. The whale's attack is swift and brutal. The ship, once a symbol of man's mastery over the sea, is reduced to splinters in an instant. The crew, once confident in their dominion over the natural world, finds themselves at the mercy of the very creature they sought to exploit. This encounter illustrates the eternal struggle between man and nature. It's a stark reminder of our place in the grand scheme of things. We may believe we have tamed the wilderness, but nature always has a way of reminding us of our insignificance in the face of its raw power. The whale's wrath leaves the ship in ruins, and the crew stranded in the middle of the vast ocean, miles away from civilization. The once plentiful bounty of the sea now seems a distant dream. The men are left with nothing but their survival instincts, their courage and their determination. It's a dire situation, one that would push even the bravest souls to their limits. The sea is no longer a source of livelihood but a deadly adversary. Every wave, every gust of wind, every passing moment becomes a test of endurance. This is the harsh reality of life in the heart of the sea. It's a world where man's pursuit of nature's bounty can awaken a monstrous fury. A world where the line between hunter and hunted can blur in an instant. It's a world that tests not just the body but also the spirit. Stranded in the heart of the sea, the crew's survival instincts were put to the ultimate test. What would you do when faced with the unimaginable, survival at sea or a slow and painful death? Picture this. You are a crew member on the Essex, a whaling ship stranded in the middle of the vast Pacific Ocean. Your ship, once a symbol of mankind's dominance over nature, is now a wreck, shattered by the wrath of a giant whale. The sea around you is a desolate and relentless expanse, stretching endlessly in all directions. The sun, once a source of warmth and light, now scorches your skin and blisters your lips. Every drop of water you drink is like a precious jewel, and every morsel of food is a feast. The crew's fight for survival is a testament to the human spirit. They battle the elements, the hunger, the thirst, and the despair. They cling to hope, even when it seems there's none left. They are pushed to their limits and then beyond. They are stripped of all but their will to live, their desperation driving them to unthinkable choices. The themes of survival and desperation are prevalent throughout this harrowing ordeal. The crew doesn't just battle the sea and the elements, they battle themselves, their fears, their doubts. When faced with such dire circumstances, a man's true nature is revealed. Some succumb to their fears, allowing despair to consume them. Others rise above, their will to survive stronger than any adversity they face. But in this test of survival, the human spirit shines the brightest. It is the spark that keeps them going, the fire that refuses to be extinguished. It's their will to live, their refusal to surrender to the merciless sea. It's their unity, their camaraderie, their shared struggle that binds them together, makes them a family. The struggle for survival in the open sea is a stark reminder of our insignificance against the might of nature. It's a testament to our resilience, our adaptability, and our sheer stubbornness to not just survive, but to live. In the face of despair and death, the human spirit fights to endure. How does one carry the weight of such a harrowing tale? The crew, or rather what remained of them, were eventually rescued. Their story, a chilling testament of survival against all odds, sent ripples across the world. It was a tale so potent that it inspired the legendary author Herman Melville to pen one of literature's greatest works, Moby Dick. But the story doesn't end there. It's a tale woven with threads of guilt and redemption, a testament to the indomitable human spirit. 
The crew's guilt, a heavy shroud that threatened to drown them, found its redemption in their survival and the sharing of their story. The tale of In the Heart of the Sea is a testament to the power of storytelling. It's a reminder that even in the face of nature's wrath, the human spirit remains unbroken. It's a story that continues to resonate, echoing through time. Their tale, etched in the annals of maritime history, serves as a grim reminder of man's relentless pursuit and nature's unforgiving wrath. What are the timeless lessons from In the Heart of the Sea? This movie isn't just a tale of survival against the odds, it's a rich tapestry of themes and lessons that resonate deeply with us even today. The destructive power of obsession is portrayed in a stark, haunting manner. It's a stark reminder that an insatiable thirst for more, when left unchecked, can lead to our downfall. It's a cautionary tale of how our obsessions can blind us, not just to the beauty of what we already have, but also to the potential dangers that lurk beneath. The film also pays tribute to the resilience of the human spirit. It celebrates the strength and determination that enables us to rise above the most dire circumstances, to keep on fighting, no matter how bleak the situation may seem. Moreover, In the Heart of the Sea underscores a profound respect for nature. It's a reminder of our place in the grand scheme of things and how we must tread lightly with reverence and humility. In the heart of the sea we find not just a tale of survival, but a mirror reflecting our relationship with nature and our own indomitable spirit.